Well, what we'll do is we'll evaluate, hey, what situational football do we need to really, really um, get on film? I know we don't have we don't have enough third down plays on film from practice. We need to we need to focus on some more third down. Um, but we'll get I'll get with the coordinators and we'll really sit down and say, okay, hey, what situations do you need on your side of the ball, offensively and defensively, into the game situations that we need to make sure we get on film so that we can teach and coach from it. Um, you know, we're gonna have to. I wasn't pleased with. The way we kicked today, we missed a couple field goals. Um, so I want to put those guys in a little bit more competitive situations. Um, but I mean, other than that, we'll evaluate as a staff. And again, we'll end with the spring game. Yeah, Chris Tyree is really, really good. Um, he did a good job last year. He'll be the guy. I think we'll, we'll obviously try to make sure he's the guy. Um, but Brandon Joseph has done it too. He's obviously done some punt returning. Uh, so I know he, uh, Brandon Joseph and Matt Salerno both were back there uh, returning punts today. Yeah, I look at the DB position, right? The the safety position. That's a deep group, right? You talk about Houston and DJ and Brandon Joseph and and uh, Ramon and Xavier. That group will have a one A and one B for sure. And um, it's something going into the spring you probably didn't know. The D line is extremely deep, you know, and and that's with Jason not practicing, you know, but with Foskey and Justin and um, Howard Cross has had an unbelievable spring. I mean, an unbelievable spring. And he's done a great job, and Lacey, and I go on and on. But I, I think the depth of our our middle, right up the middle, we're really, really deep, especially defensively, from the D line um, to the linebackers to the safeties. Right up the middle, we're deep. You know, we, we have to continue to develop some young guys. You know, with Cam's out, Cam's out at corner, so we got to develop some young guys at corner. Um, the the O line, I don't, I wouldn't say we're one A's and one B's yet, but I'm really, really pleased with some of those one A's. Um, and so, again, the running back position would never be. I think up the middle, we're really, really strong, you know, and, and we have to continue to develop on the edges. Really, really pleased today. Um, the only way to win the jersey scrimmage is takeaways. Only way. And so, um, uh, up until the second to last series, the offense didn't turn the ball over one time, you know, and then we end up having to pick um, late in the scrimmage. But by that time, you know, the offense was way ahead. Um, so I was really, really pleased with the work um, that they did today of taking care of the ball, making good decisions. It, it's a great competition, especially between uh, Tyler and Drew. It is. And um, it's one that probably after this Jersey scrimmage, I'll sit down with Tommy and kind of say, hey, give me your grades. You know, let's talk about um, where you see these two. And, and uh, you know, it, it's still going to be an evolving process in terms of until you name a starter. But I wouldn't hesitate to put either two in the game because they're both really, really good football players and they can help us win. And so um, I look forward to sitting down with Coach Reese and kind of really just looking at it from the quarterback's point of view from, hey, did they make the right decision and then did they execute? You know, and so um, it, it's been really good.